This hospital was founded in 1887 in response to uh, a need to commemorate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria and it was finally uh, opened in 1887. It consisted of nine beds. Uh, one of the first admissions was a builder who fell down and broke his leg during the building process and there was one nurse matron. She was on duty uh, 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year. It's reputed she may have had Christmas Day off, but she had one servant to assist her. It was solely dependent on voluntary contributions. Farmers contributed food and goods. Uh, Matron actually repaid them at Christmas time at a Christmas party. The minute I came to Wimborne, I knew I wanted to work at Wimborne Hospital. And when I came here, I just loved it. When you walk in, you feel as if you're walking into a hospital and a caring hospital. You know, it's got the outpatients, it's got blood, it's got all sorts of departments. You feel as if you're in a safe place. And the nursing care is extremely good. It's a busy little place. I always feel the community hospitals are the lifeblood of the national health, because it's there for the people of Wimborne. It's really apparent from speaking to our patients how important it is to them that they have a community hospital close to home. Um, and that's something that we obviously continue to endeavour to try and do to, to provide care close to home for as many of our local population as we possibly can, which is why it's important we have as many services that we can provide here um, on site and available to people so they don't have to drive a long way to access them. Um, they can come here, they, they don't have to pay for parking for example, they can come on site and, and access the things that they need without going too far. We have a 25 bedded ward, um, a minor injuries unit, an outpatients department, a state of the art theatre, an endoscopy suite, an x-ray department. The most recent upgrade that we've done at the hospital is um, the refurbishment of our day surgery ward um, which has just had a new air cooling system um, put in place so that the patients can be more comfortable after they've had their operations um, and to make the, the environment more, more pleasant really for them to, to recover in before they go home. We've got 150 staff um, approximately working on site and many of those have worked here for a number of years so there's so many years of experience wrapped up collectively in the walls of Wimborne Hospital. I see it as my job to support the team to use all of that experience to the betterment um, of the patients, really. Um, I've been here for 22 years now, working on the ward and in minor injuries. It's a, it's a great place to work. It's a, a really good facility for our local community and they really seem to appreciate it. In the minor injury unit, they can walk in without making an appointment. We see between um, 20 and 50 people a day, depending. It varies immensely. We never know what we're going to get or who is going to walk in. People really appreciate being, being able to come into somewhere quite small and friendly and local to them. We like the people here. The nurses are lovely. And so are the consultants. But the nurses, the ones that see me every time I come, which is to the eye department, Particularly you, Frances. There she is. Um, she's lovely and they're all really, really nice. We choose Wimborne, A, because it's closer, B, it's free parking and easy to park, and it's a much more friendly atmosphere. Not so impersonal as a large hospital. So we're really well supported by the local community. We have lots of volunteers that come in to help us with all sorts of areas. So for example, people come in to help making tea on the ward or to come and help um, maintain the gardens. And of course, we're, we're really lucky to have our friends at Victoria Hospital who've been really helpful and supportive over the years. The Friends started in 1935, so it's a long, you know, well-established organisation. And over probably the last um, 30 years, we've spent about £10 million pounds in this hospital. A new endoscopy suite, new x-ray, new theatre, um, as well as all the equipment to, to keep us up to date. Some of the medical equipment costs hundreds of thousands of pounds. We have um, over a thousand members who give so much a year to be a member. Um, some of our money comes from legacies. We also have um, a shop in the town, a charity shop. It's a circle really. The, the staff do excellent work here. Um, people in the vicinity, the locality are grateful and they give us money and then we can spend it here. So each department is always looking to how they can improve things, how they can do things better. So for example, in our outpatients department we're about to launch a GP um, out of hours service so that we'll have a GP on site from half past five until eight o'clock every evening and at the weekends. So that's really, really good and that'll be great for the local population. The future is bright for Wimborne Hospital. The staff are proud of the hospital, I'm proud of the hospital, and Wimborne is proud of Wimborne Hospital. 
and I'm sure that we will continue to play a vital role in the community in the years to come.